Hello guys, it's Axiom and welcome to an unboxing of the Premium Collector's Edition for Elden Ring. It arrived in a shipping container and in three parts, not one big collector's edition but just one big brown box. So we're going to be looking at each one of them individually and I'll do my best to unbox all of the goods. We're starting with the phone packaging and inside here we're going to be finding the stand for the helmet. The stand has a little bit of weight to it and as you can see on the base it's numbered and engraved with Elden Ring. And it's 6000 units worldwide and I'm guessing that it's 2000 units in each region. Next up we have the actual box for the helmet and it has some nice artwork around the box itself so I'm going to turn it around for you. The box is not difficult to open and at the top of it you'll find the authenticity card. If you turn it around you'll also find instructions for the helmet. The styrofoam packaging for the helmet is also engraved with the Elden Ring logo. In the main compartment you'll find the helmet. And on the side here are the wings. And under the wings you'll actually find a screwdriver and a couple of extra screws if you need them. It took me a couple of minutes to screw the wings on and it's easier if you put it in your lap and turn it upside down or if you have another person to help you out. The details on the helmet are really nice, you can see the textures and the layers and the work that's actually gone into making this. The paint job alone must have taken quite some time and you can see that it has some battle damage on front of the helmet. It's a very nice collectible item and I'm definitely glad that I didn't miss this out. And here is a PlayStation 5 controller for scale. Next up we have the box that contains the figurine and you can see that it also has the Elden Ring logo on the top and artwork on front and the back. This box also contains the steel book, the art book and the other little bits that I'm going to show you. The figurine box was actually heavier than I expected and is also a bit snug so you had to tug it a little bit back and forth to try and get it out. You can see on the back that it has a little bit of writing. The front of the box has two ends that open together and it has a magnetic connector to keep it closed. So this is a PVC figure of Malenia from the game and you can always use the box to display her in a scenery if you want to. In the official artworks you can see that she's holding the blade in a unique way and she's actually holding on to the blade itself so you want to push it further in so it's more stable. The blade itself doesn't have any handle so she's holding on to a big piece of metal. And here's the PlayStation 5 controller for scale. Now let's take a closer look at her so you can see the details. As you can see they've etched the blade and they're actually indented. 
She has a little bit of corruption going on on her neck, on her face as well, if you look a little bit under the mask. Turning her around, you can see that she has the Elden Ring 3 on her back, on the cloak. And she has gradient going on in the hair. It's a nicely detailed figurine and I'm really happy with it because I have all the other ones from the Soul series. Last we opening up the container that was on top of the figurine box. And the first thing you see here is the art book. If you don't want to bend the edges, I would suggest that you tilt it to be able to get it out. The edge is also a little bit flimsy, so be careful so it doesn't come off. And here is the art book of Elden Ring, which I'm not actually going to open. I'd like to keep it sealed, so I'm sorry about that. To the right in the box you can see that it's the code for the digital soundtrack. In this envelope you'll find art cards and I think that these are stickers. Next up is the steelbook and you can see that it has the logo at the front and then the writing on the back. Opening it up you can see it's the artwork of the tree in the game. And here you can see it properly on the other side. This is the patch that you can put onto your clothes if you want to do that. And there's instructions on the other side. And last but not least, this is the steam code which I've removed from the inside so I could show you what it looks like. On top of the artwork you can see there is a set of instructions that tells you how to redeem the code. And there we have it guys, the premium collector's edition of Elden Ring. The Dark Souls 3 Prestige Edition did come with a resin statue, which is obviously quite a bit more expensive, but the helmet in this edition is nice and it's different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.